name is David. Uh, I am a software developer at MC Incorporated. I am working on the source map project as part of a uh, collaboration between sort of the MIT Media Lab and Avensia's internal research and development program. Uh, I want to tell you a story about my laptop. My laptop comes from all over the world. There's parts from most major continents, and uh, components come from all over the place. There are raw materials, there are uh, all sorts of things go into my laptop. And you, using sourcemap.org, you can interrogate this, you can look at this, you can uh, view a list of all the different parts and see how they contribute to the overall carbon footprint of an object, uh, how much energy is used to transport this thing from uh, place to place uh, and all over the world. You can also get more information about each of the parts in this object and the narrative that it tells you. Uh, you can learn about how it was extracted from the earth and how it was transported and things of that nature. And this would be great if we were there, but where are we today? Uh, right now, a lot of products have this made in sticker, you know, it's, it's made someplace, but it's kind of like a brick wall. You can't find any more information about that thing. Um, things are getting better. Uh, with a lot of organizations and a lot of these uh, uh, emblems, things like organic and green and sustainable, uh, they're kind of coming out of the marketplace, but it's not really clear to a consumer what that means. Uh, they can't find more information out about that uh, object, like where it came from, uh, how it was manufactured, and things of that nature. And at sourcemap.org, we believe that people have a right to know what things are made out and where they come from. So. It's a good chance that whenever you buy any product today, it comes from multiple destinations around the world and how that's put together. So the team of people who are working on this are from the MIT Media Lab, the Tangible Media Group. Uh, Leo Banani's doctoral research is sourcemap.org and it's a collaboration with the Center for Future Civic Media. In addition to that, there's a community of people who are working on this project. Uh, users contribute objects and we have experts in life cycle assessment that are validating these and uh, we also have a network of volunteers that are all contributing, uh, either working on a project or contributing code and things of that nature. Uh, on a technical level, sourcemap.org is comprised of a lot of open source projects, uh, CodeIgniter, PHP Framework, OpenLayers, uh, PostGIS, and it uses routing data from OpenStreetMap and uh, PG Routing. And sourcemap asserts that products are actually networks. So they're networks of transportation, uh, materials, and labor, uh, a lot of cultural ideas and economy, like money, is changing hands and flowing around the world. So this is one example uh, of, let's say you're a wine enthusiast and you live in Boston. Uh, do you want to order a uh, bottle of wine from California or a bottle of wine from France? It turns out that if you ship one by water and drive the other across the country, the carbon footprint is about the same. And in this example, uh, one of our study groups is the Highland and Island Enterprises in Scotland. Turns out that they have uh, a lot of breweries that are brewing their own beer, but they have to ship it to central England to bottle it and then send it back. If you could change that one part of the supply chain and move the bottling plant to Scotland, you'd save an enormous amount of money in transportation, and also you'd get a lot of social credibility for uh, completely manufacturing this thing locally. So this kind of opens up the possibility that sourcemap.org can be used for consumers as well as businesses. You can assess your own supply chain. You can validate, let's say, a vendor's or a, a, so another supplier's supply chain. You can also enforce some quality control uh, on your own business processes. Sourcemap.org will also allow you to export data and be able to visualize it in other applications such as Google Earth. And you can really see the impact of what these mines have uh, extracting raw materials for all sorts of objects. Uh, so I want to tell you a story about silica. Uh, this is one of the directions that SourceMap is heading, and right now it's a really basic model of, of network. It comes from one place and goes to another, but we really, we really know that that's not how things move around the world. First it's extracted in one place, then it's refined in another, it's assembled and then it's, it's fabricated and it's shipped, and it, it travels all over the world. What we want to do at SourceMap is take all of the OpenStreetMap data and actually route it on the streets and shipping networks and rail networks be able to model this more accurately and give people a better assessment of how things are moving around the world and a more realistic model of that. So another direction that we're heading in the future is we're Im implementing uh, socioeconomic in indicators, uh, social calculators. Uh, we want to use a mobile application so that you can get something from the UPC code. And also we need volunteers. We'd love people to sign up. So 
send us an email, source map at media.mit.edu.